So just slowly disconnecting and seeing from the screen and closing your eyes when you're ready. Allowing the body to do whatever it needs, whether it needs to yawn or stretch or sigh. Or all of the above. <laughs> and with your eyes closed, you can usually start to get a better sense of how comfortable your body is and whether it would benefit from being adjusted in some way. Maybe you have some clothing that's a little tight. Perhaps you need to wear a shawl or take off a hat. Perhaps you've positioned your legs carefully and uh, to make sure nothing's folded too tightly or there's no pressure on the knees. Or perhaps you could make a further adjustment to that. And just allowing yourself to land in your body. To sense the ground or the chair that's supporting you. Enabling your muscles, especially in your bottom and your legs. To just gently unloosen or loosen rather and sink into the ground. Perhaps breathing out a long out breath. Noticing the relaxation that the out-breath brings. And checking your back to see how it's positioned. Perhaps rocking gently forward and back to find the optimum position for your spine. Sometimes what you need is to rest yourself against the back of a chair or a sofa, which is perfectly fine. Other times it helps to bring alertness to the body by just very gently pushing down with the buttocks and lengthening into the spine. before relaxing again. Noticing the position of the head on the neck. That it's balanced evenly, perhaps chin is slightly tucked in. So there's no strain or pressure on the neck.
And noticing those shoulders, the areas of tension where we hold so much stress. And just perhaps loosening them up intentionally by gently rolling them back. And seeing how this changes the position of your hands, if at all. Allowing your hands to rest on your knees or in your lap. Fingers to be loose. And just noticing that one of the senses has been outwardly turned off. A sense of sight is no longer operating. And how this brings a quietness to the mind. Perhaps the impressions remain of our fellow companions here today. Allowing any of those impressions to gladden the mind. We're here with spiritual friends on the path. People with the very best of intentions. live meaningful, virtuous lives. Not only lives that benefit ourselves, but hopefully bring benefit to others. Without needing to go into details of our lives. Anything we may feel we fall short at but just getting a sense of the overall direction of our lives. Our values. And allowing the mind to just settle on that. And perhaps, if you wish, just gently recollecting anything that's happened in the last couple of days or a week that you feel grateful for. Perhaps something in your life, relationships, something simple like being able to open a tap and get reasonably clean drinking water. Or perhaps something specific. Such as feeling your work has benefited another person or Someone express their gratitude to you. So 
We're just painting a picture of that situation or that incident that brings about a feeling of gratitude in your heart and connecting to that feeling once again. Allowing it to uplift and gladden the mind. Breathing with that feeling. And just relaxing. More and more deeply with every out breath. If any unfinished business comes to mind, just set it aside for now. These are just lingering impressions from the sense world that can be dealt with later on, but for now, just Tapping in to a feeling of satisfaction with where you are in your life, in this moment. With a day of practice, a day to be with this, this little mind still in training. A mind that you're learning to befriend. Just looking upon your body and mind with kindly eyes. Appreciating whatever health you have in your body. The parts that are not sick. In fact, you can practice. You can still hear the teachings. You can still develop mindfulness. Whatever is arising. and develop wholesome states of mind.
So if you wish, you can join in a gentle body scan. To help us come more in contact, closer to our present moment experience. Receiving whatever sensations arise with mindfulness, but also with a sense of kindness, loving kindness. Looking upon your experience with kindly eyes. Starting from the top of the head, noticing any sensation you feel and gently resting the mind there. as though you were receiving the light and warmth of the sun on the top of your head. And that light and warmth of the golden sunshine is just gently opening, softening whatever experience you have. Encompassing your forehead, temples, brow, cheeks and chin. Inviting any tensions to just loosen and relax. Allowing them to be. And the sunshine starts to beam down on your neck, throat, shoulders. Spreading effortlessly around the skin and deep into the muscles, tissues, the bones. Just receiving any sensations you experience in your shoulders and down your upper arms, the elbows, the lower arms and the hands. All the way to the fingers and the fingertips. with a feeling of gratitude towards your shoulders, your arms, your hands, for all they do for you, the ways they allow you to care, to help others, to eat, to write,
I'm spreading this warm golden awareness through the chest. Illuminating and relaxing any sensations in the area of the chest. The organs deep inside. Perhaps once again noticing the movement of the breath through the chest. I'm relaxing with every out breath. If you notice any areas of pain or maybe sickness, perhaps anxiety as you move through the chest into the belly or any pain in the gut, just gently wishing it well. Befriending those disagreeable sensations. Befriending any sickness you may have. Just allowing yourself to bask as though basking in the warmth and light of the sun. Allowing that healing energy of mindfulness and kindness to permeate deep inside your belly, your chest. And down to your buttocks, your hips. Allowing any tension or pain, myself a slight stabbing pain in the right hip, just allowing it to be there. Perhaps slightly widening the area of your awareness to include those parts of the body, or those sensations around the area of pain. As though your body were expanding like a sponge. Soaking in this kind awareness. This golden light and warmth of the sun. Exploring the whole thigh area. Receiving any sensations. All the way down to the knees, the back of the knees. Maybe noticing pressure. 
heat, tingling, whatever it is, imbuing it all with that same unconditional loving awareness. Until the whole area of the thighs, the knees, and the lower legs is also basking in this golden sun. Spreading to your ankles. the heels, the soles, the toes, and the upper part of your feet. Just gently, spaciously receiving all the different sensations. Regarding them all with kindly eyes. giving your legs, your feet, the chance to relax. And enjoying the body being soaked through with kind awareness. Being bathed in a golden sunshine, just as though you were sitting on a beach, a warm beach, in a deck chair. Receiving the light and the warmth of the sun. Relaxing any remaining tensions or areas that you're contracting around. Fully supported by this armchair. Or another simile, as though you were just floating in warm water. Totally held. Totally supported. Nothing to do but be here. Allowing any sounds to just wash over you. No need to grasp or cling. Just fleeting impressions arising, disappearing. No resistance. Nothing to hold.
thoughts arise, no problem at all. Just notice the thought. Whether that brings happiness or tension to the mind. Perhaps replacing it with a thought of loving kindness, just wishing yourself well. And relaxing back into this wide open kind awareness. And once again, just gently connecting to your body sitting, noticing the buttocks, the thighs on the floor or on the chair, the support of the ground beneath you. And just that sense of the body sitting. Relaxed. Once again, connecting with something really wholesome in your life, general attitudes and intentions you bring, the values you hold, and the beauty of that. the generosity in your heart that's given you this day of practice as a gift to yourself. A gift without any expectation of performing this way or that, just a gift. Time to yourself. to develop beautiful qualities and to relax.
And just closing with a few thoughts of loving kindness. May I be happy and well. May I connect to the goodness of my life. May I experience peace. May all of us here be happy and well. Free from pain and suffering. May we all rejoice in the goodness of our lives and one another. May we all be at peace. I don't know if you're hearing the bell, but there's a subtle ringing of a gong going on. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ringing it that way. Noticing sound. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's good to see people yawning and stretching and generally kind of relaxing in. <laughs> I hope that, uh, yeah, you're a little bit more present to yourself, um, at ease within the little online community and uh, that you can really take this day to find your own rhythm and uh, what will be supportive for you. So whatever's offered here is one perspective on the Dhamma, different themes at different times. But, you know, the main thing is just to allow whatever resonates to, to guide you in your practice and leave aside the rest. Just see what... Uh, what's helpful and what's nourishing for you at this time. So we now have uh, in the schedule an opportunity for walking meditation. And uh, I don't know, I think many of you have practiced before. I know many of you, I saw the list. So many of you have experience. Uh, basically for the walking meditation, um, depends on your where you are, and whether it's nice weather, you can go outside if it is. Um, and if it's not too cold, you could even take off your shoes and socks. But please don't get a chill. Uh, you have to know your own body and how it works. But uh, I really love to do walking meditation barefoot because I can feel my feet and the sensations in my feet very easily. And it helps me to ground, uh, especially if it's in the grass or the mud. Uh, there's an actual grounding benefit there. And uh, it just brings about a lot of mindfulness because we can really put our awareness in our feet and feel the different sensations as they move. Um, if you are in your home and you have uh, an area even of seven steps, it's usually enough. Um, and you just choose a kind of little path. You make up a little path. So it might be from one end of your room to the next or outside from one tree to the next or the end of your courtyard to the next 
And you ground yourself in the standing posture by standing and feeling into your posture, just as we did in the sitting. So just checking through your posture, checking that it's relaxed and, you know, you receive whatever sensations are there to be felt. And in particular, noticing the feet on the ground and the grounding quality of standing. You can bend your knees a little bit just to really arrive and uh, establish awareness, establish mindfulness. And then in that awareness, start to move one of your legs, start to take a step. It doesn't have to be super slow because if we go too slowly straight away, we tend to develop tension, but just to walk a little bit slower than you would normally so that you can be aware of the movement of the leg and any feelings as your leg moves, especially feelings in your feet. Um, and then you just simply move the other leg <laughs> one step forward. But rather than kind of looking around, if you're outside at the sky and the birds, just keep your eyes a little bit ahead of you, maybe a meter or two, and just see if you can experience your feet. So you keep the sensations as your anchor. And since we are practicing sense restraint, you might notice sense impressions coming in. You know, you might notice sound and hearing and that's fine just just notice that and notice as well if there are any pleasant or unpleasant sensations associated with that just to see the impact of that sense impression nothing more and let it go when it goes it goes and you just stay with your feet yeah the other thing that can happen of course is we start getting into thinking and if you notice that's happening just pause you can even stop walking and just notice the thought, connect again to your feet and carry on. Yeah. But see if you can notice with this so-called bouncer on the, on the gates of your mind, on the gates of the senses, just see if you can notice whether whatever's arising is pleasant or unpleasant and see if you can notice your reaction to that. So it's less important to sort of give it a, a kind of judgment. In fact, it's uh, really not advised, um, but more important just to notice the way our minds move when they encounter contact at any of the sense doors, just to notice the way they move and to bring the mind back. Yeah. Of course, if you do get into any kind of um, story or, uh, memory that's uh, distressing for you in your life you might notice that take a step back and actually see if you can restrain the senses by bringing up a different perception a different uh, maybe version of that event you know so it might be for example oh somebody doesn't like me somebody's upset with me and then just rec recollecting that perhaps that person's going through a difficult time you know, perhaps this isn't about me at all. Perhaps they're suffering and there's things I don't know. You know, I too have had difficult times. I too have probably given the impression that I'm upset with someone when I'm not. So just giving that person the benefit of the doubt, you know. So see if you can uh, use perception this way whenever's needed, whenever's needed, just to protect your mind. Okay, so enjoy your walking. The other benefit of the walking is there is an end of your path. So if your ha mind has wandered off somewhere in the middle and you didn't realize it, it's okay. You'll get to the end of the path. You can stop. You can notice I'm standing now. How does it feel to stand? Bounce a little bit on your knees, ground yourself again, and then intentionally prepare to move your foot, to move your leg. Okay, so enjoy. Enjoy the walking. And uh, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> you're going to get to the end of one wall and then, you know, turn around and go back. So it's quite a, an interesting practice in that way. The only place to land is in the present and, uh, and just enjoy. <laughs>